Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in August and it is harvesting time. But I have noticed, again, around the farm and that, missed a collectible. It's a harvester one and this will get us one grand. There we go. So yeah, what we've got done is complete that seeding contract which got us like 2500 quid or so. And accepted a few more contracts on 41, 53 and 62. Also we've got 20, we've got time and that doesn't disappear, we'll do that. And then we'll prioritise these other contracts when we get around to it. However, we've been doing the linseed harvest so in the end of the last episode we got started on this. And we're almost done the headlands, I say almost. Because we haven't quite managed to do a full heads in, so let's turn this on and get this unloaded. But yeah, I think if I had to guess how much densities we'll get from this, seventy thousand liters or so. Between seventy and on the top end, maybe. No, not E5, but I'll say, yeah, about 70,000 years I'll stick with that. I mean, I guess, see how far I am. Could be higher, could be lower. Honestly, I could not tell, so... Thinking what we'll do is... If we are able to get a work on it... Afterwards, then maybe... Actually, fair as I reach if I they come by for one news uh, contracts, but... Uh, yeah, if I was going to lease one in that, we're looking at at least 25 grand for the initial lease, so will it be profitable? No, I've got the time to do it, yes, so yeah, just to really make it worth doing, so I think what we'll do is we'll just continue on. Start doing this second headland if we get two headlands done. And then we'll get work on it, but yeah, just have a look at if I should stop that a sec because I don't mess the straw pile up. Harvesters, uh even something like the T560. That's fourteen and a half grand. And we're looking at six grand per hour. Ouch. Obviously, that's the one we got to try in there. And that itself, the base price is alright. Yeah, you can get a 10.8 meter header, but you need something a bit more horsepower to get that. So you have to go with the one small ones. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, with these combines, 5,600 per hour. I go stupidly big. Yeah, we're looking at ridiculous amount of prices. So, looks like we're stuck doing it. Uh, to this condition traditional way of doing it ourselves with one combine. Well yeah, if we get enough money coming in over the next couple of years, then yeah, maybe get a second combine. Or even that kit, if another farmer has one about, i.e. maybe a contract, then yeah. But yeah, we need to get those done first of all, and for that one, yeah, decent Miss a bit there, lots of linseeds. Yeah, that one, the John Deere, decent size header. I think it's a 6 meter one, which makes sense because you get a 10 meter one here. That is really the top limit, I would say, in terms of we're able to do a lot of these fields and that. Well, actually, any size could do these fields almost. It's more of transporting without just intentionally and just willingly go through all the hedges and that. 
Yeah, I'll admit there's been times like in that episode where we've gone through the hedges a couple of times. But not as intentional. It wasn't intentional, just how it happened, but yeah, I've tried to avoid you for the hedgerows because it also expresses the pain and all that. And yeah, don't hurt the local wildlife like this in the hedgerows because yeah, it may not seem much, but they do serve a purpose rather than a field boundary. It's a natural boundary that's filled with life. Or at least so I'm told. <laughs> but anyways, we all get it done. And then, yeah, we've got the Reap Seed to do on 59 and 109. They're not going to take as long, like... I think both of them is like half the size of this field here, or maybe two thirds, I'd say, to be a bit fair to it. So once we get this done, we can look at some options with baiting that, do we bait now, do we wait? I will have a proper look at the crop counter. I will get next year's crop plant in this month. Then. So we have been busy since the time lapse. So, once we get this unloaded and working, we've spoken to one of the farmers and if they've just borrowed some of their equipment. Basically, just see it over there. There's a fence harvester, a power level, along with a little Massey Ferguson tractor of 7 series, I think, and some traders. Also, four cells, which we've paid to lease. We paid two grand for this, 2500 to lease it initially. A little bit of a special offering by the dealership. But this could be one or two baiters I'm, I'm going to be considering. This is the Ma Massey Ferguson 2234 Pro Cut. So I wasn't sure... Oh, didn't realize we could do that. But yeah, I don't see what this can do. So, I want to get some bells in that. I was thinking Heston bells perhaps we'll go with. I know what the one I'm thinking about getting can do like 9400 litres, so I'm just comparing this to that. So I'm aware you know, your typical beers do around, was it about 9,000 maximum? 9,000 years per bell. I just want to see what this does. Does it do bigger bell sizes? No, I think it's yeah, your typical standard baiter it is. But the pickup actually seems quite good on this, actually. Think about it. Just assessing that. It does rather decent job of it actually, funny enough. He has barely missed anything yet. Yeah, okay, that bit there go around the corner. Okay, alright, picking up some of these bits here, maybe. But yeah, overall. Ah yeah, these are just standard bells, so. 
Well, sure, what can I do from here? So this what? Oh, just uh, a sad ant. Has on driving, and someone at the back, and it has a little guide. Maybe, just maybe, it's an idea, but. So, yeah, the Massey does 9,000 litre bells. And if I want to compare that to your normal, typical base game stuff, we have a look under technologies, baiters. Actually, in fairness, that's a bargain deal because as soon as you start going to these bigger bells, like your high density bells, we're looking at 153 grand. So, in fairness, that's on the right deal, actually. Which one it is? Yeah, this one here. That's 130 grand. Obviously these do the, the big old Heston Bells. However, thinking about it, yeah, I'm not sure. Same thing, I may just go with one of these, perhaps a quadrant one, to match the case, but, or a fence. Well, not that one. Yeah, it's 164. But yeah, at the end of it, we've got to look at Oh, uh, what's it? Least purchase option. Well, it's what again. I know what it is, and I'm aware of it. But I don't know what the ship is offering, what the rates are. Do they need a down payment? If they do, well, yeah. It's whether or not we can afford it as well. Like the down payments. But yeah, these are getting sorted. Combine there, Ooh, that bell should have dropped there. Funny enough, it is struggling going up this slope here. I'm not sure why though. And actually, this is a good test because what's the horsepower requirement on that? 200, and this is 235, so. Again, I guess in the 35 horsepower, maybe it's because of the weight in that, I'm not sure. Yeah, that is odd. So, what? This was a good test indeed. So, I think that's concluded. Let's try unknown in these bells, so. There we go. Is it because it's just a weight? Holding it back. Get off that bell there. No, it's still struggling with speed. And you think for like a 200 horsepower carbon beater and a 235 horsepower tractor that's being serviced, it wouldn't have any issues beating uphill. But it does. So that's out of the question. I'm now worried, if we go with one of these high density beaters, would that affect it? Twelve miles an hour for that one. And this we sort of say, screw it, and go all in on the wind rowers. Because for a 20 meter pickup, that is... Yeah, again, we'll be looking at, say, a 12 meter, which should be able to do two rows. That's one thing, again, not sure on. But anyway, so we need to get to the combine, because it's going to be full. Well, funny enough, as I'm saying that, it is full, so. 
Alright, there's some options for us for the be there, set up. So I guess, what was it, 70,000 litres, so... Actually, I don't think I'm going to be that far off. Maybe get just a bit more than that. So yeah, you know what? We'll finish this off. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards I'm start doing some contract work. I think, yeah, we'll get some of these contracts done. And again, testing the Massive Ferguson power level is an option for us to have a look at a piece of equipment at a relatively small cost of only a few hundred quid per hour the farm wanted for us borrowing it for the day, so... Because apparently that's his only field he's got, along with some others he leases out to other farmers and business contractors like ourselves, so it makes sense, a few hundred quid per hour. I think it'll be worth it, so yeah, I'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks when we're done.
and there we go. So that is one contract completed for the soybeans. And now I've got these other two to sell at the farmer's market. So that is up and across. So we'll go and do that. But yeah, so we end up having to use our own equipment for some harvesting, do some technical issues. Could be on user error end. But regardless, I was able to pick up a for a trade from the farmer that we borrowed this equipment from. And at the end of it, I sort of made a decision of making a payment of an additional, I don't know, I should know, first payment of 2,500 quid. And that is for just this week. I thought, I don't know how I was going to use it for, so we came to agreement 2,500 for the week. Before we to use it in the second week. Of August, then we need to pay an additional money, so that would be two grand, twenty five hundred. I'll say at least two grand's gonna be twenty five hundred. This seemed a deal. Didn't really want to bargain just because didn't have time to bargain. <laughs> Simply put. But who? Just gotta be careful with this bridge. I've had so many close calls with this one. But yeah, so we've got the sorghum here, and that's almost done. And we're currently doing 41. And yeah, that field is. I cannot remember. Right. Um, do get shrill from it, so we will get shrill. And pick it up and put it into this silo. But yeah, so we need to go. That's a bell something over there. The green one is just down there by the looks of it. So let's go and. Oh no, what's over there? What's over there? Ah, that's a siphon container over there for the rye, so. Fair enough, makes sense now. But yeah, interesting how much money we'll get from this. Yeah, at the end of the day, so it'll be too much money, but. A couple of grand here and there. Will make all the difference in these contracts, especially if you use the same equipment for multiple contracts. So that's the first one going in. Seventy-one percent transported, and now let's go and put that one in. That's an additional eighty-seven hundred quid. So. Not too bad, so we accept the week contract on 20. Yes, please. And the corn contract on 95. You know what? Sure. We'll need a corn header. And how much is that going to cost us? So. 63.5 3200 really maybe I'll see if we could bargain that down to I oh, know 3 grand or something or 2 grand I'm sure there's a deal to be made and also you never accept the first offer that's their first offer for the price so even if we get down to 3 grand that's almost 10% of the price knocked off so to get back we'll head up and around but yeah so what I'm going to do now is get a bunch of these contracts completed and then we'll see where we stand afterwards why not I include clips I don't know but even if I don't we'll simply explain and you don't know what the contracts were doing, so next year sure fifteen grand, so that's one four six. Let's say one four five point five to be safe. If I had to count for income for the crops. Ooh, maybe in total Actually, I'm not sure. 860. I'll say another 20 grand on top of that, so. 
We should have around 165, 170 afterwards. Once we're set up with these contracts, obviously if any more pops up in between. Yeah, by all means, I will do them. As of we stand currently, I may do rape seed on 48, or is that 2? Uh, just north by 46 or 45 towards the dealership, so. Bit of transport for the combine and that, but. That's one of those things. But, anywho, you will get these done. And I'll see you folks later on. And there we go, so. It has been a while since we've last seen each other. In real life, it's been about a day or so. But yeah, so, anyways, got the harvesting done. And actually, I wasn't that far off with the in seat. Um, we got 3,712 liters here, and we've gone and put 70,000 liters in the silo, so 73,000 liters of in seat. And if we look at the prices for the in seat, I think at the moment it's worth around 850 quid or so per thousand liters. Oh no, this and that. Well, actually, ooh, town stores, 922, but on average, about. 820, 830 with your peaks here at the garden center and that. But if we wait just a few months, wait till December and that, we can get about 1200 per thousand liters. So, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'll do that there. Similar with field beans, they we're going to harvest those soon and we can get oh, maybe three grand for a thousand liters. But we've got to sell those crops for a year and that. That's well, about nine months really, actually not a year, but you know what I mean. But yeah, we've gone and done a few contracts. We did the harvesting ones we done. And also we did, I think, one seeding contract. So if we go and turn this on, which one was it? So yeah, we seeded the canoe field there. I think we already did that on camera. We cultivated 95. We've done Harvest on 20. Uh, i trying to think what other ones we did. We did a couple here and there, not too many contracts, didn't spend too much on it. But currently we've got 111 and 34 on. And I'm waiting on for 2. 2 is a wheat field, 34 is soybeans, and 111 is sorghum. And Spoken to the farmers and that on those properties because they are in by Mr. Mr. Powell and Mr. Hammonds, respectively, and said we said except to them last night and said I can't guarantee it'll be done before end of this week, most likely end of the month. But I think they did say they are willing to wait a bit longer for the harvest. So, for example, the sorghum, we can wait till September. And soybeans, wait a minute, soybean, soybeans, ah, they're not going to be harvested until August. No, September. Sorry, we're in August now, and is that soybeans? Well, I'm guessing they were ready early, so actually, I will have to speak to Mr. Powell about that because that's the thing I want is for him to have a bad yield in that overall. At the end of the day, we still get our money and we get a, a small percentage of the profits from the crop itself. At the end of the day, does it affect us too much? Maybe a couple grand or two here and there. But overall, it doesn't really affect us too much. But yeah, another thing I've come to realise with like using the Transcenti here, it's good, but it does has its drawbacks. Like example here, doing tight turns. No. Yeah, it's just it's a pain to deal with. So I may look at. 
swap some options. Similar like the one we did with the contracts that we borrow those massy TARDIS traders, so and they're like what thirty grand for what's it? Three thousand years, something like that. So I'm gonna have a look here a sec, bear with me, where is it to other do 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 Actually, it's even less than that. 17 grand for 30,000 liters. And they're based on the cloth tray that we started off with. And it's got a pin hook on the back so we can do a bit of like a little road train. And even if it's just two, we have. That is 60,000 liters we can transport. Now, from doing the contracts now. I must say they weren't fill filled to the brim, I'll say overall maybe 80% full. And I didn't really have any issues with it. I like with this when this is like three quarters loaded. I do get issues with breaking out, the breaking is severely affected. But anyway, so you may wonder like why our money has gone up too much. That's just simply because of we did the extra contracts. But we had to repair our equipment and looks like we're gonna have to repair the 930 here. Yeah, how much is this gonna cost us? I do even want to know. Six grand, really? That's being like when we first started off in the episode, it looked right now. But as it's gone down over time, it's got more and more worn than it. Currently it's 67% worn. Yeah, I don't know. Do we... Do we say we just jack it in... ...and say, heck it. Because 45 grand at the moment, so... We'll get a couple of grand if we repaint ourselves now, as an extra profit. But still, yeah. But I'm not going to leave it, the more going to just depreciate in value and crash. Maybe if we find some collectibles that may help with our decisions, so. I think I know a location of one or two that we missed, so. I'm going to go quickly look for those. I did see them last doing around doing the contracts and that. And then we'll see where we stand afterwards. So here is location of one we missed. That's a cedar, so we need to find two more of those. And the next one is just on the opposite end of the map. And second one is just over here, so hop over here. Where's it two? Somewhere around here. Oh, there we go. Uh, another cow, so. I was really hoping we were going to get 200 grand there from those two, but nope. Seems not to be. But yes, yeah, so there's at least four more collectibles, two more cows, and two more cedars. Collectibles. The worst thing is, I don't know who exactly where they are in. These ones were in places that I thought I had looked, but must have overlooked somehow. But I'm still thinking that we'll find some more in the winter because the first one we found was on a snowman, so maybe they'll pop over winter, I think. We've got some big decisions coming up and choices have to be made, so just tell me borrow this, we'll give the dealership a couple of hundred quid. So we'll to park it up here for now. Because we also had to pay some money as well for leasing again. 
straw pickup that we've been using solely for contract work. We won't use that for our farming act. Tempted, but it's a bit too cheaty. As I would do this forced pickup. That's the really only way you can do it. There's no like on console you can have contracts where a farmer wants you either to pick up straw, bait it, like straw bell contracts. That'd be a nice addition to have. The interest of mechanic, definitely, but chances are happening in FS22. Uh, if I had to guess. I'll say probably not, not until Farms in 25 even that, but never know, there's always an option. Ah, okay. ah this is a soybean field, I thought it was for sec the wheat. Yeah, we wheat is field two and sorghum is field one eleven. Yeah, if you can get these three contracts done whenever they pop up. Just, yeah, I thought, except the contract, the farm didn't say anything, Mr. Powell wouldn't say anything about the soybeans, so. That's uh, so why I'm going to harvest season now, and. Overall, it seems to be alright. Enough is kind of the sensors and that. Yieldage is pretty good as expected, so it's above average. But yeah, so not sure why it was already a month early, but hey, I'm not complaining on that. No complaint here at all. But well, yeah, all he do is harvest contract to be established that's like are they actually worth doing? The time and money you spend? No, not really. But it's something different to do, it's something different and it's always about the money, it's always about helping the community. Sometimes it's like there's a farmer in need, if you've got spare time, spare money or spare equipment that we could have. Then yeah, sure. Because I live by a posse, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, so... Already, we're a quarter full. Contract is 20% completed, so... I think, you know what? Let's go get these contracts done. And then that's where I think we ended it, say, being a slightly longer episode, but... Yeah, let's do it one more time, I think.
couple of those contracts done, we also picked up a cultivation contract on field 34. So we'll go and complete that one. And just resell that little bit here for 111. Get 9.4k for that. And also, I did include just at the end of the time lapse, we did find one more collectible, a harvester collectible. Accidentally went down a wrong path now. And come by a horse thing like a pasture area and then yeah saw it so I thought heck it pick it up that was not me seeking it out that was just purely coincident and by accident so well thankfully that's a hundred grand or 101 grand in our account now extra that's gonna really help towards a new setup a new mower now nah, not new mower a new bean setup and I find a suitable replacement for the 930 here. So I think we will... Yeah, whether or not we'll retire it or sell it... Really depends on the finances with the soy... Well, oh, not soy beans, the field beans. So I do want to get most of this loan paid off this year. However, I'm also thinking about going to a second place. Get a second loan. And really double down now on the idea of farming. So things like get some money, buy on the bottom left corner, and even maybe get like 52, 53, 56, maybe 55 and 62. If we go down that particular route itself, so we have a look. 203. Let's just say. 400, 514, 714, 914, 6, uh, yeah, we're talking about close to a million. And I'm not sure how much we're going to get for the Philippines, I'm not sure what the yield in that actually is, so. Actually, since we're over here, I'm, I should be around here. We'll see if there's any no, collectibles around here. Surely not. No, nah, I don't think so. But yeah, that leaves us with over 300 grand. And yeah, sure, I could pick up some of these contracts. So we may pick up those 22 and 29. They're both going to tall trees. And the other one's 28, that's a 10 contract. That'd be nice because 28 is between 22 and 29 there on the left. But yeah, well, I think we'll keep this for at least another episode or two to 9.30. Because if we have a look, 52 and a half hours, 355 horsepower. So that's something to consider. What's I think around 350 mark? Oh, leasing costs. How much? Don't know why I've still got that. Ten hours we've had on this header already. So we need to make a deal on that header. Maybe we we'll take it back to the dealership, get a bit of a deal on it, and we can purchase it for ourselves. That is tempted. But no, we need that. Definitely need that and a new big tractor. So, wrong time for that to pop up. And we 196 as well because we need the crawl track. Oh, yes, because there's no options for single wheels. Nope, so we'll need the track. So. But yeah, so anyway, so that's where I'm going to leave it today, so we will resume on the third week. Obviously, we didn't think about getting those contracts done in this week, to say maybe end of the month, but had a bit of time today, so I thought, heck it, get these contracts done, get them out of the way, so then next time we can focus on the rapeseed, the canoe harvest, on 57 and 59. 
the 59 and 109 and then between the harvests, between finishing off the rapeseed and start doing the field beans we can start looking at a few ideas but we're going to have to see on that but anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode if so, smash that button feel free to come down below if you want to share some, please be my guest if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider but, for to do, hope you have a nice day, but for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.